Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is. And thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I would like to talk about today Lady C's video, which was directed by my friend Teresa. Thank you. I only got through 20 minutes of it. Um, and I'm not surprised by it. You should go watch it. The first 20 minutes will blow your socks off. Uh, yeah, you know, it just, my comment on the feed was, uh, she's always known that Prince Philip uh, had, a, had a statement about uh, showgirls, that you do not marry them. Uh, you just simply take them out. So this is the rage that is burning hot and cold fury in Markle. Um, I also said on the feed that I believe wholeheartedly that she is the witch variant of borderline personality disorder. There are four subtypes. The witch variant is the darkest of them. They're the only variant that lashes out. All the other three variants, uh, they, they, they go inward with their rage and anger. The witch variant goes outward. Uh, people in history that are witch variants is Jodi Arias. Jodi Arias killed a gentleman in Arizona, a guy she was dating because uh, he was gonna go take someone else to the Caribbean without her. Uh, and because she could not have him, she killed him. Uh, she shot and stabbed him, left him in a shower. It's a very, very large case in the United States. Many of you uh, from the United States are aware of it. It happened probably about eight years ago or so. Anyways, uh, big, big case. And, and when I first saw Markle initially, my mind went there. And this was way before any of this. Way before any, I thought, my God, there's another Jodi Arias. I honestly thought that when I saw her. And her darkness, her level of grandiosity uh, does not surprise me that she thought she could still marry Harry and change their mind and that she would waver that opinion. It did not occur. So that triggered her shame and that inner rage and that fury was already there, but it just really ignited it. The mask slipped. At that point, it was kind of gloves off. And at this point in time now, it, they say that she is, she's a master at divide and rule. Uh, so apparently they're very aware of all of this. So that is excellent. I'm so happy to see and hear that they are aware of her divide and rule type of mindset. And I also think, and I've said this before, I'll just say it again. I really think Harry's life's at risk uh, because look what Jody Arias did. Uh, that basically, when you take uh, several subgroups under cluster B, I think she's histrionic. I think she's a witch variant borderline. And she's also a narcissist, a mid-range narcissist. You put those three together, you've got yourself a sociopath. Sociopaths have such poor impulse control that they line prison systems. Uh, so I think Harry's life's in danger. I think she could easily take him out or convince him to. Uh, they are that they are that dark. Uh, so, anyways, let's get some cards on. Let's get some cards on Harry because you know I know he's 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 wanted to get away. He's living a double life. Uh, let's get some energy on the possibility of him escaping. Uh, because I think he does need to exit quietly without her knowing. He's got to do it very undetected. Otherwise, like, sh she will stop him and she will kill him. She will do it through through deadly forces. So, anyways, let's get where Harry's energy is currently at. Where is Harry's current energy at? Where is Harry's current energy at with this divide and conquer? With this... Divide and rule. That's the way uh, Lady C uh, described. That's what the royals are saying. Divide and rule. Where does Harry stand with the divide and rule now? Where does Harry stand with the divide and rule? Divide and rule. Where does Harry stand with the divide and rule? There we go. Two of pentacles in reverse. He's not. He's not juggling her. He's not juggling this whole situation anymore. Uh, so this is in reverse. He cannot juggle his energy with her. So this is him living a, living a separate life from her not getting along. They're not on the same wavelength, okay? They're just not. Uh, maybe other, I think what it is, what's happening with him, his shame, uh, 
he's he cannot face himself he cannot face the family he's trying he's tried to somewhat get in he wants his way still he's petulant uh he does have a lack of insight but he cannot juggle his energy with her doesn't get along with her at all this is why he's going to keep probably going out and doing things which she did threaten divorce on him if he continued to apparently that also leaked out because he did a few events about three events in the last uh year or so uh, and uh, so she did put that out on him. So let's get the challenging position. Challenging position for the divide and rule for Harry. The challenging position for divide and rule for Harry. Challenging position. Challenging position for the divide and rule. Challenging position for the divide and rule. That's stuck in my hand. It's all a lie. It's the liar card. It's the thief card. It's keeping the veil on. This is my veil card. Uh, this is the, it's very anti-social card right here. And that is the challenging position. Uh, it's him lying to her that he's probably juggling his energy with her when he's not. So he's lying to her. That's a, that's a survival tactic. Pretend you're going along until you're, until you can get out. Hopefully that's what that is. Let's get the focal point, focal point, focal point. That's her. It's all about the fake pregnancies. That's why she's trying to shut everybody down. And she's going to use this. This is the this is the tool she's using over his head. Look what we've done. Uh, we've lied. We've lied about this. And so you've got it. You're stuck with me now. That was part of why she could she can get him stuck and trapped with her. That's the hold she has on him. On on top of the fact that he's also bisexual. Let's get the hidden hidden energy. Hidden energy, or at least he has tinkered. I'll put it that way. <clears throat> hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy here, hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy on Harry on the divide and rule. Divide and rule. There we go. No awareness, no clarity. So under the surface, Stuff they don't want people to know is they will not, will not go along with rules and traditions. Refusal. Harry does not like to go along with rules and traditions. So he too has a problem with following any orders. Doesn't want to be told what to do. So this is his petulance here. This is that immaturity. He's very arrested development. He's not a grown man. He is a man child in an adult skin body is really what he is. This is his immaturity. That's really how I feel. He's very, very immature. He's just not mentally stable. He's emotionally immature. He's an immature across the board. Let's just put it that way, intellectually and emotionally. Let's get the past position that does not serve him, the past position that does not serve him, the past position that does not serve him. We have here three of pentacles in reverse, teamwork in reverse. He was not willing to work with them. I'm not doing, I'm not doing duty. I'm not following orders. I'm not follow. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not doing it. Three of pentacles in reverse. We will not work together. Going into the future, going into the future, going into the future, going into the future. So he might still be drinking her Kool-Aid. We have here judgment. He knows he's being judged. He thinks this is really... I'm the right. I'm right. Just like she is. I'm right. I'm calling all the shots. That's that whole grandiosity. I'm right. If you disagree with me, then it's it's war on. It is about divide and rule. And so this here is we are correct. You are wrong. Uh, it is things are going to go my way. Uh, judgment's going to go for me and against you. You are going to pay with your soul. So this is being really into the mindset. Let's put it that way. Really deeply uh, entrenched. So he has drunk. He, he drank her Kool-Aid. He has. He, and he was already there to begin with because he never was about. He never liked duty. He was just he's a party prince and he really didn't like the teamwork. So because he could not be a, because he wants to be higher up. He felt ignored. There we go. We have here the eight of wands in reverse as the feelings in the situation. He knows he's never going to overcome it. He'll never overcome this whatsoever. Uh, and his enthusiasm is, has tanked. His ambitions has tanked. 
Uh, he's, he's not overcoming anything with movements because it's an eight in reverse. Upright, you would be able to overcome it with movements. He's not able to do it. Everything's happening so painfully slow. Very slow momentum. Very slow momentum for fame, enthusiasm, for business, for everything. Because that's what wands are. Let's get the ninth. The ninth is the, oops, excuse me, the eighth. I'm on eighth, so excuse me. Outside influences, outside influences, outside influences, outside influences. What is the outside influences affecting Harry? We have here the wheel, and it's sideways. So I'm going to take it as he's not sure which way to go. Uh, the wheel upright is having things spin in his favor. In reverse, it is, you know, it's not going in our favor. Things will not go. He's like, I think he's at a, at a level of confusion. I think he's confused. He doesn't know which way to roll his wheel, in essence. He's not sure if he's staying or going. Is he going to roll his wheel back home? Or is he going to stay and re wheel it back into the garage and with her, you know? He doesn't know what he wants. Total confusion. That's what they do to you. They get you ungrounded. They get you confused. That's that push-pull, the borderline, the witch variant especially. That is that sweet mean cycles. That is to praise you, then take you down. And then, uh, you know, five hours later, complain about something and then expect sex. And then, you know, so they're all over the map. They keep you completely, utterly unbalanced, confused. That way you cannot trust your own judgment. He cannot trust his judgment of what to do. If it's going to go his favor or it's going to go against. He doesn't even know where his life is heading. His life is kind of at a standstill in some respects because I got it sideways. And that's just energy coming in. So he doesn't know what he wants to do. He doesn't know what he wants to do. It landed sideways. And that's typically what they say in tarot. So here we go. The hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. This is leaning more upright. He's trying to be strong. He's trying to find his center balance. He's trying to be calm, cool, and collected within himself. He doesn't want to lose his temper. He cannot lose his temper because she will unleash hers on him. And then it's, he's going to lose. He will lose because she's a sociopath. She's a down out sociopath. He knows she will lose. He, is, he has no choice. This is survival right here. He has got to be the little lamb. He is the little lamb. He's got to be her little lamb. Let's get the final outcome, final outcome, final outcome. Final outcome. Final outcome. Wishing. Four of Cups. He's wishing for something different. He is wishing for something different. He knows he cannot balance his energy. And everything is a lie. Everything is a lie. So he is wishing. So I would just... Personally, what we need to do as a collective... I haven't said this before. But what we need to do as a collective is we, do, we should come up with a collective phrase and every morning and every night say say this collective phrase to put out because thought is energy and if we as a collective put out a thought process for harry such as uh harry you, you're awake now go home and apologize harry you are awake now go home and apologize harry you are awake now go home and apologize Harry, you are awake now. Go home and apologize. Uh, you know, something along those lines. And you repeat it and you do it several times a day. Anytime it thought that come, Harry, go home and apologize. Harry, go home and apologize. Make it right. Make it right. Something along those lines, that energetic field does work. Uh, and that's what they call prayer. That's basically what prayer is. It's putting out positive energy. And that's basically what we need to do uh, because I do think his life is at risk. I do think that uh, she has no control over her, her fury and uh, she has such deep seated rage and resentment uh, that the ultimate rage and resentment would be to convince him to commit suicide or do something to himself or her herself unleashing such rage on him that she kills him in just fury, maybe not even planned, but just hot fury in the moment. Uh, she's a very dangerous woman, and they know it. They do know it. So I, I you know, I, I know that many of us, are, you guys, are really mad with him, and, and it's well deserved. But he's really, truly mentally unhinged and unwell. Uh, 
And a lot of this is exactly what happens. You can take a fairly decent person and turn them very dark. Uh, so that's the kind of level of pathology she has the capacity to do to just about anybody. It's not just Harry. She'd do it to anybody she hooked up with. So I think I would really appreciate it if we all did that. Harry, go home and apologize and make it right. Harry, go home and apologize and make it right. Do it a couple times a day. So do it for me. Do it for Harry. You know, I know he's um, pretty much seems like a total lost cause, but it's worth the effort. So let's get Markle's energy now. Markle's energy on divide and rule. Divide and rule. Markle's energy on divide and rule. Markle's energy on divide and rule. Markle's energy on divide and rule. Michael's Mark. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, she does not want to be seen right now. Yeah, this is what she's doing. She's holed up. She has these many of these days right here. Nesting. She's nesting and trying to recuperate, and she is four of pentacles. Her challenge is hanging on to all her possessions. Harry is her possession. Harry is her own. I own you. You're not going anywhere. I own you. I own you, Harry. Focal point. Focal point. She's going to create challenges of how they're going to grow with the seven of pentacles. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Are we going to, what are we going to do here? You know, we got to grow, Harry. So you're, you're not leaving me. It's also the loss of the loved one card. So she's trying to get, keep him from leaving her. The past that does not serve her, the past that does not serve her. The past that doesn't serve her is the nostalgia of the family. She didn't care about them, or her family for that matter. Uh, the past that doesn't serve her was the Knight of Wands having strength and purpose with the family. Not interested, because she had absolutely no emotional fulfillment there. <clears throat> yeah. Whoops, that goes down here. I take that back. That is the hidden energy. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I make mistakes sometimes. All right, so that goes there. That is the hidden energy. The hidden energy was she was never had strength and purpose, never had nostalgia, good feelings for them, and never felt any emotional fulfillment and never was going to. That was never going to happen. That was just never going to happen at all. I feel like calculating that. There's my book. There it is, because it's fun. 19. 19 comes to five of clubs, crossroads. Yeah, she was always at a crossroad. Okay, Harry, I'm going to marry you, and we're going to choose what road to go down. We're not staying here. We're not staying. I am not nostalgic with truth, with strength and purpose with your family. There's absolutely no emotional fulfillment, and neither do you. We are leaving. What crossroad are we going to go down? We can go down a different road. Here, it calculates to 12. 12 comes a three of spades, scourge, betrayal, and heartache. We're going to hurt them. We're going to break them and we're going to hurt them because we have absolutely no nostalgic feelings or anything. And we're at crossroads. We're going to leave. We are going to leave. That's what that says. So, yes, absolutely. And that's exactly what went down. Uh, let's get to the past position that no longer serves her. Past position that no longer serves her. That is, it came in, came in sideways. Finding that, finding, oh, we have here the magician. Oh, I was thinking it was another one. It's the magician. She cannot manifest, <clears throat> she's trying to manifest what she wants, a sideways. And she hasn't been successful, but she's still attempting. That's how, I re how I'm going to read that. Uh, she would like to have everything go in her favor and make it work. So far, she's got a lot of untapped talent. And we got here the devil energies surfacing, the temperance in reverse, those red wings. Uh, in some of my other decks, you'll see the devil wings on, on the temperance in reverse. So her devil dark side gets triggered uh, when she cannot manifest it in her favor. And that's where she, she's going to get very dark. It's not going my way. Guess what? I can take you out because I got this devil living in me. I've got a devil on my shoulder. My devil's going to show you. So we have here the feelings in the situations, tower crashing moment. So this is really bad energy for someone who wants to take you out. If I'm going out, you're going out too. I'm not going down alone. I'm taking you with me. 
I'm going to take you with me because you're mine. I own you. I own you. Don't you dare draw attention to my weaknesses. <clears throat> the ninth position, no, excuse me, eighth position. God, what's wrong with me today? Outside influences, outside influences. Here we go. We have here, she thinks, she wants everyone to think that we are, we are totally in alignment with each other, spiritually, healing, everything. We're friends. We are friends, Harry. The three of us are, are, Amigos, we're celebrating together. We live a life of celebration. No, you don't. Three of Cups. <clears throat> the ninth, hopes and fears. 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 Hopes and fears for methane. Some of you guys like to call her methane. M. I like to call her Tweedledee. There we go. So hopes and fears is to break everyone's heart, just like what I got with the calculation up here. Divide, divide, betrayal, hurt them. That was her hope and she succeeded. <clears throat> the outcome, the outcome, what's she gonna do? What is the outcome with the divide and rule energy? Divide and rule energy. What is the outcome for the divide and rule energy on methane, Tweedle D, two of cups. She wants to maintain and keep Harry locked arm in arm hand. Yeah, her thing was to take him out and keep him. That's why we got this four of pentacles. She does not want to let him go. <clears throat> bottom of the deck, we have here 10 of swords in reverse. So this is a total, you know, rock bottom. Uh, and it's where recovery begins in this position. It's uh, This card also represents the end of a cycle. It's after the earthquake. After the earthquake, that would be this position here. Uh, the tower is the earth, is also seen as an earthquake, unwanted change. And afterwards, you end up with a 10 of swords healing. Um, after you get that stabbing, you pick yourself up in this position and you start to try and recover. So she is still thinking she can do some kind of recovery with him, recover the relationship because she knows that he is uh, wishy-washy with her. That's why we got those cards sideways. Uh, he doesn't know what he wants and she has to maintain him. She must maintain him. And this is why it's a challenging position. So she's thinking that she could pick themselves back up by pretending that they are friends and that we can get back to this position. So that is future faking. Uh, that is to keep you sucked in the web. Uh, that is that push pull. That is where, that is the black and white thinking. You know, one day we're good, one day we're bad. Uh, I'll have sex with you, then I'm gonna fight with you, then I'm gonna control you, then I'm gonna micromanage you, and then I'm gonna love bomb you. They do so much to the brain, the brain just collapses to the point why he has no light in his eyes. That's why he looks so dark and grim. Unbelievable changes in him. You could see it visually in videos. You could see it in stills. And this is what happens. They collapse. His mind has literally collapsed. That's why he cannot do anything. He's not of a well person. So this is why we need to put out that positive, loving energy of him returning back and apologizing. Do I want him a working role? No. Should he? No. But he deserves at least to get help and to get away from this toxic energy. He is a human. We should have some compassion. Uh, I'm not about uh, completely throwing him under the bus because I realize the level of toxicity and the manipulation that he's under. She is very dark, you guys, and she's capable of, of, of murdering him. Uh, and I didn't realize you couldn't see all my cards, sorry. So yeah, please put that out there. Let's get a few more cards. Few more cards here <clears throat> that won't work for me and some of them flipped in there let's see a few more cards on uh, divide and conquer what's going to be the outcome we have here choosing cups yeah she's choosing she's choosing whatever options she needs so she's very trying to be very selective emotionally of what she should do and she's trying to be the page of pentacles putting out positive messages positive messages and trying to be very selective as to what kind of positive messages, how idealistic they are and how in love and they just, they're hand-holding friends, basically. 
We are hand-holding friends, and I'm going to be very careful what messages I put out. I own him. I own him. And it was all a plan all along. We know that. It was always planned. It was never a decision on the cuff. It was all based on her rage. And so it's looking like, yeah, she wants to maintain ownership of him. And yeah, once you're theirs, once, once, they, once you're theirs, you're always theirs. Uh, even when you break up and you go your own way, you will always be in their mind. They own you. And that's the scary, scary, dark aspect of them. It's very scary stuff. And it's very, it's not something to take lightly, you guys. She's very Jody Arias. So anyways, please put out those positive vibes, you guys. I'd appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.